This week, the Ministry for Water and Environment released its performance report for the financial year 2018-2019 and much emphasis was put on developing strategies to curb the effects of climate change. For the first time in Uganda this year, we experienced a heat wave. And I'm warning all Ugandans, these are signs that we are now also heading towards eh, the, the threat of the advancing desert. One of the main strategies was the campaign to plant millions of trees, with a particular emphasis on bamboo trees. At least by next year, April, we should have planted 500 million trees. Where do we plant them? River banks, lake shores, all mountains, all hills, even the hills in Kampala. Let's be under houses, but let the houses be under trees. Bamboo trees are fast growing. It's a plant which grows within two years. Now we are targeting two species. There is what we call giant and then another species which can grow in the drier areas. Now the giant grows into a big tree. It can be used for poles, even for electric poles. It can be used for even buildings. Bamboo trees also have diverse uses and applications, which gives them a lot of economic potential. I saw furniture in China from bamboo. By the way, even clothes. Clothes, there is a, a, a factory for clothes. In the next three years or so, we should not be cutting trees to make charcoal, but we should be getting charcoal from bamboo. And this will be from licensed bamboo growers. The ministry will also apply the new National Environment Act to preserve wetlands and forests. The Kalagala Falls in Jinja have already been protected from encroachment under this new law. The minister is given powers now to declare certain areas protected. Now I'm tasking them, and this is a directive, that they should now begin assessing all wetlands that are still intact, those where no human being has gone. And I'm asking all Ugandans who have a lot of land, plant these trees and we can come and declare you, uh, to declare your area protected and you make it a tourism site and you can earn more money than even when you are digging maize and beans. The climatic changes have also caused water shortages in different areas. The president had given a directive to the Ministry of Water and Environment to ensure there is a water source per village. This has not yet been achieved and the ministry officials have given an update. This clean and safe water requires investment. We can no longer rely on boreholes because they are not reliable. So we are looking at alternative solutions based on solar. That's why you saw us with a new loan of acquiring solar pumps. So a borehole, instead of just only serving one village, if it is powered by solar, it can serve five villages. So that's the strategy that we are having to see that we cover the whole country. Patrick Senyondo, NTV Weekend Edition.